Hey, Melissa, you started uh, talking about this a disconnect between the economic data coming in and where the markets are headed. Uh, at the close today, yes, there was a sell off. The Dow, the Nasdaq, and the SP 500 lower. But if you take a look at the month of April, the Dow and the SP are looking at their best month since 1987. And if you take a look at the Nasdaq, its best month since 2001, and it is only down for the year by 1.1%. Why? Big tech coming in in a big way this year. Uh, let's take a look at these companies. They're 38% of the NASDAQ. Facebook was the best performer in the NASDAQ today. Its ad sales are stabilizing. As you noted, Amazon closing at a record high. Uh, and these companies, uh, Amazon and Apple, reporting momentarily. Healthcare was another bright spot today. Gilead is very close to getting FDA approval for its remdesivir coronavirus drug, that stock, up 1%. Uh, J. Crew just filed for bankruptcy. We got consumer spending data for the month of March, worst monthly drop we've ever seen. Consumers are pulling back. And look at this with the J. Crew news for a retail rut. Gap down 10% today. Macy's down 3.5%. But Melissa, they said on Monday they're reopening. 68 of their stores in some of the states that have reopened their economies as best that they can, Melissa. That is really staggering. And J. Crew filing for bankruptcy, um, you know, having been such a hot brand, it just really shows you the times right now. Um, let me ask you, because we're looking ahead, obviously, we have a lot of big earnings on deck. Um, looking at Apple, what, what are some of the things that you're looking for in that report or that you expect? Yeah, Apple's going to be a big one because they're holding so much cash on hand. Um, they have such a big presence in China, uh, Melissa. So we're waiting those numbers any minute.